Uh, I don't know if I can do randomly any of that challenge. Let's go back to Auridon. Yeah, I can do any of them. Uh, any delve. Any... No, specific one. This one, this one. Let's do this one because it's close. But is, this is the one that I was in before. Yeah, I think yes. I need to kill the boss inside. Come on, man. to kill the mobs here but I think the bulls as well a lot of people waiting for the bulls fucking hell Holy shit. I need to wait. Oh. Play on that. That's good. There is another exit, huh? I think. Hurry 
courage brings victory. That's a player. How the hell did this guy die? Undead? Oh, kill undead? I think it's a second challenge. Basically. So we'll be cool. Yeah, one more undead. Okay, and I can I completed. Amazing. Uh, where I need to speak with him? Wait. Oh, tra travel back to the wing, okay. I did it, buddy. Well done, mortal. You have risen to the challenge. One task remains. Oh. If I am to lend you my strength, you must lend me yours. Power for power. A wrong, right it. And another step on the path. What's wrong? You want right it. My own. One day, as I enjoyed the sun upon my pelt, I beheld a hunter tracking an Indrik and her fawn. The hunter moved in to claim their prize, and the hind perished. The fawn leapt for freedom, and the hunter gave chase. What did he do? I stepped in. <laughs> I imbued the fawn with a wisp of my power. But in acting with haste, I acted unwisely. My power protected the fawn true enough, but it gathered the hunter in its wake. Now predator and prey are trapped in a chase unending. Saving the, the fawn was a mistake. I granted my power to a being that did not ask for it and did not know how to use it. The height of arrogance. A vice I have been accused of on occasion. Use the lens, find their trail, and release these poor souls from my power without focus. Where shall I start? Seek the fawn and the hunter in a southern Oridon cavern. Dell's claim, I believe it is called today. Restore this ill-used power. Okay. Thank you. 
here. Dell's claim, yeah, this one is. Uh, let me check the loot, by the way. Staff of Shock. Man, I, I like Inferno Staff, honestly. There is a vendor somewhere here. Let me use a vendor very quick. That's another Dell that I need to do. And that's good I, because I didn't explore that area and I will advance a little bit on completion about the area. There will be a lot of people as well. This is bad. Man, wait a second. I lost the... Oh crap. I need to go back to get it are you fucking kidding me
No, 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 no. I lost it. Fuck. Okay, let me get a sky shot. Man, I need to clear the whole dungeon before. Maybe I need to follow the deer. A merchant here. Ah. Aha. Interesting. What's a portal here in the dungeon? Lord. Let me claim the, that reward. Okay. Fucking hell.
Oh, I need to fart all the deer. Okay, good. Aha! Uh -huh. Don't attack me, don't attack me. No, 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 no. No, no. Oh, I lost it. Fuck, I think it's inside here. Oh yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay. I have no idea if this is the way. Okay, this is the way. I see a battle here, I think here is... I think here is where I need to go. Yeah. We did it, bro. Freedom. What? But I miss the boss here. You may return with us if you wish. I will see both of you in my domain then. I will grant my promised power to the one that sought it. Indic found. Oh, he's so cute. Look at this man. Bastian, move your ass. He's so cute. I think this will be a, a pet. The fawn is safe. My strength returned. And you have had a moment, I hope, to reflect on power and its wise application. What happened now? Now, as with Ulfsil before you, I offer you the sigil of the Indric. You will take it to the altar and imbue my strength within. The power I pass to you will infuse every drop of ink, every sheet of parchment, each whorl and dot upon the page. What did that mean for my scribing? Until now, your mastery of the art was limited. With my support, your horizon expands. So too, the vision of your allies. I will ensure their efforts to explore and chronicle the contents of the Scalarium meet with success. Nahria has returned from the Mage Guild. Your knight has returned. 
with allies at her side. But that can wait. Mortal, fable bearer, friend, accept my gift to you the power of a luminary of magic. Check this gift, Indrik. You have completed my trials. You have shown wisdom in the use of your power. Take my angel. Join its essence with the altar. And let the ink flow once again. Amazing. Amplified altar? Here you go. You don't see that every day. Nami's going to want to hear about this. Good to see you again. You'll find her over in the East Wing. Nice. Man, I need... There are one, two, three, four, five. I need four more. Need to speak with the illusion again. There you are. I wanted to introduce you. We, I unlock a merchant. Good to meet you. Nolia and I have been touring the library and I've already found, well, some terribly surprising things. Ferrandil is a chronicler, one of the best the guild has to offer. You two talk a moment and then we can discuss what comes next. Amazing. Chronicler Ferrandil, at your service. Chronicler of tomes, scrolls, scripts, and otherworldly delights. I'm glad that I was able to make the trip. What I is your role my here? Skills quite val I've been tasked with facilitating this lost art form you've rediscovered. Scribing. <laughs> How novel. As I understand it, you will be contacting and convincing these luminary creatures, empowering the altar and all that. How uh, will you fac facilitate scribing? I'll scour the complex for grimoires and scripts. I've already found quite a few, aided perhaps by that... Uh, what's his name? Indrik chap. I've never been led by a fawn to a trove of ancient secrets before, but it was an ex... Don't worry, I will do my very, very best to ensure I have what you're... Show me! Of course you do! Ask away. I believe Wait, so. I can I, I cannot see Man. Don't worry, I will Oh really? <sighs> it's good to be back. I know it took some time to get us all down here. Apologies. I cannot Ask see what the hell he saw. The votary commander needed significant convincing to turn this into a full fledged expedition. How did it go with the crow? I meet my first luminary, the Indrik. You just continue to impress again and again. Man, I like the armor that she has. Who knows what you'll be able to accomplish? As you might imagine, guild leadership is very interested in the art of scribing. That means you're staying here. For the duration. You have more luminaries to find. This complex needs to be explored. And the secrets of scribing are just waiting to be teased from the past. <laughs> What about you, friend? This expedition would be nothing without you. Magnus be praised. Oh. We've secured supplies for a full-fledged expedition. You've allied with your first luminary, and the altar surges with new power. Wait a second. Uh, let me equip... Uh... More distraction stuff. Kills. Mm. 
With time and patience, Magnus be praised. What happens next is up to you, be it griffin, netch, or dragon. We've gathered the fables in the main hall. If you have any questions, let me know. Nice. Except for what's beyond the unmarked door. Uh, we don't know what's beyond the unmarked door. We do not. Julian and I have already begun speculating based on some early hints. Our best guess? It's Ulfsild's private study. <laughs> but I suppose we'll find out. You but asked the crow? I did, and she was a bit cryptic. Oh, so... Oh... Oh my god. 50,000 gold? You still learn the destruction staff Grimoire Elemental Explosion. Man, a lot of great things. Uh, okay, let's equip back the skills. Uh, and here put the Grimoire one. I don't know, I don't... Hmm. Not that good, this one. Honestly. I believe to... Uh, destruction stuff. I can start any of them. If you are seeing this, the crow has set you on the path. I've left behind. Oh, it's the same dialogue. Is this a turtle or what is this? I don't know, let's start this one. The wing of the net. Mm, I see you found whatever this 
this is. It's not the fable of the Netch, as I recall it. I am occasionally fond of the Netch's levity. However, if you are short on patience for playful antics, you may find this a difficult trial. Worth it, I think, on your path to master scribing. Why is this called Mabel of the Fetch? A prank, no doubt. The Netch is known for pranks and tricks. It enjoys wandering invisibly, causing mischief and spreading what it considers to be joy. The Netch almost certainly traded out the Scalarium's fable for one of its authorship. How should I find the real fable? I think it likely the Netch will reveal some sign to you. It delights in showing off its cleverness. Nalia and I discovered an echo in the West Wing that should relate to the Netch. I'm sure whatever you learn there will be most instructive. All right, I'll start I there. Hope nothing else has been tampered with. There's already so much wrong in the Scalarium. So much that didn't stand the test of time. A vain, jovial, and generous being. It approaches life's solemn moments as an opportunity for new ways to demonstrate its wit and whimsy. The Netch, it enjoys being the center of attention. Its tendrils ever reaching for evermore. Ruffles my feathers a bit. Thank you. Wait. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah, oh, that's clear. What in Ifra's name? Is that a squirrel? Hey there! I thought you could use some help tracking down the fable. It seems like this Natch has a very distinct sense of humor. I'm willing to play along for now if you are. How shall we play along? The Natch is a trickster, but it's uh -huh. also proud of its wit. Getting the upper hand with someone like that is simple. Flatter them. Hmm, reminds me of a Covenant Knight I once met who tried all night to get my attention. <sighs> but that's a story for another day. So you think we should flatter the match? How can we do that? I think we do just as they did in the fable. Here, allow me. Oh, great and glorious Netch! Your cleverness exceeds us! We beseech your aid in finding your true fable. Guide us to your Netchy bosom. Make our lofty dreams come true! I think it worked! Quick, follow them! Oh, cool, man. Okay. Any luck finding the real fable? Any inside of this location in the fable? Let me look. Here, this part about the river settlement. I bet anything that's Balmora. <sighs> Lovely place. There's a big river running through the middle of town. Hmm, sounds like it was even bigger back when the fable was written. I always try to be kind to people and give them reason to believe in scripts and grimoires. That's the I... example I'd like to see others follow. Achievement Furniture? It's Achievement Vendor. 
Okay, let's focus to the Fable. What is? Something keeps tugging on my robes, like a child playing a game. But no one's there. It's the Netch, isn't it? This blob of yours is testing my Do you have patience. any insights on the location or notes in this fable? Let me see. This bit at the end that mentions Azura's coast. I bet it's referring to Sadrith Mora and Tel Galen. Just plot a course between those two towers, and I bet you'll find the door. That's what you're looking for, right? Uh, I want more a precise location. Are you kidding me? Speak to your allies for more hints. Well, more tricks? Can you give me a hint? Of course, I remember it well. Let's see, there was mention of the Zainab, yes? The ruins you seek are called Nichuleft. Be sure not to fall like the Ashland. Uh, and who else I can talk? There are so many awe-inspiring creatures whose shape this luminary might have taken. In Any clues on this fable? Let's see. Ah, right at the top here. Uh -huh. The Daedric Ruins. I don't know the name, but they're on an island southeast of Vos. If only the place was still full of chickens like the fable says. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Uh, now we can go. Wait. Where's that? In Vardenfell. Oh my god, man. My closest teleport is here. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Right behind you, partner. Yes, partner, uh... There need to be a book somewhere here, my friend. Yeah. And... Uh, Die shot. Uh... You need help? I need help to go inside here. Hey, J Guy Warlock, how's the game? I remember getting this game. First thing I do, put a lion mount in store, ride it around for five minutes, and never look back in. Uh, man, the game is great. Me one, I really, really, really like it. I think the quest and the exploration are the most rewarded than any other MMORPG on the market, honestly. And keep in mind, I'm not paid to say that. Trust me, I'm exactly on the same boat we two. I played the game when it was released, I think years ago or something like that I think for a few months one week few weeks I don't, I don't know I have uh, the character I have two characters the highest one it's level 46 or something from the release 10 years ago and then I never ever touched the game again until 
one week ago or something like that. And now I'm very, very hyped. I started a playthrough on my YouTube channel with a story, with the main story to do every story mission on every zone to follow follow the chronological order. This is the way that I like to play. I think the quest and uh, the basically the quest and the story are the best thing in this game. I play the game like uh, Skyrim. Warlock, I maybe you know I, I know exactly what you say. Uh maybe you don't play the game on the way that you need to play to enjoy. My recommendation and maybe you'll enjoy Take it slowly, very slowly, play the game as a single player RPG, consider you are alone in the world, start from the scratch, from zero, and follow the, the story. Follow the zone story, where you start, the main story, and I bet if you like this kind of games i don't know if you like rpg a good good story good quest a good rpg game i'm talking here about a single player if you like that i bet you'll enjoy Yeah, don't consider you play an MMORPG. It's different than... Oh man, I'm going on the fucking wrong way. Are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> Myself, I'm a veteran World of Warcraft. I played for five years until the... I played World of Warcraft until the Cataclysm expansion, but I played as a hardcore player, you know, with dungeon raids, in-game content, etc, etc, with my own guild. Then uh, I played all of them, and Guild Wars, Lord of the Rings as well, I played a lot. Uh, so, I know what I'm talking, I know your feeling as well. If you are a WoW veteran, I suppose you have some age on the belt. I'm sure you are not a kid. Uh, and I think that's another reason for us, for all gamers to enjoy modern games, to enjoy like years before. I think it's a, it's a common problem for all of us, not only for you, not only for you. Trust me, I, I know what I'm talking. All of us have this problem. It's, it's much more harder and harder to enjoy in one game for a long time. That's a common problem for all of us. Very few exceptions. All of us, not all, most of us have this problem. I don't see myself to play for a long period of time the same game anymore. Because like you said and like you, I ha I get bored very quickly. It's a common problem for most of us. And But on the other side, we still have that nostalgia. You know, you, you when you meet with your friends or, or when you speak with your gamer friends, uh, you know, I, I don't feel like I feel 20 years ago when I started to play WoW. What's, what's a better game? What's different? What's that? What's that? What's that? You know what I'm talking? <laughs> because, man, 
all of us have the same problem. You still have nostalgia from when you played lo long time ago and when you enjoyed. When you when you spend the night in a Naxra Max ride or in Karazan or I don't know any other raid in World of Warcraft or just example and I, I feel exactly the same I know exactly what are you talking about I told you it's a very very common problem for most of us Man, what the hell way I need to go? Uh, can I go on the other side of this mountain? Uh, yeah, it's a good way. And the world in this game is huge. And uh, when I'm saying huge, it's insanely huge. I think uh, the whole world of Warcraft is a joke. What's that? I remember, in, for example, in World of Warcraft, the quest, I never ever read the quest descri description, because you know, and that's a common problem in most of, of the MMORPG, the quest system, it's almost the same in all of them. Uh, go to the quest giver, collect five flowers, uh, kill five wolves, uh, go in the destroy three ballista go come back go back uh, get the rewards go to the next quest giver etc etc move from zones to zone with the same fucking shit's quest hey that's the difference between all of that and the elder scroll if you start if you go on the map for example and go here and open the zone grid and start the zone story every zone have his main story, which is amazing, which is amazing, except that the the main story is great as well. The mage guild and the fighter guild story are great as well. That's the difference. So that's why I'm playing. I'm playing, moving, starting from zone to zone, do the zone story, main story. I'm playing like a single player game. But of course, from time to time, I'm doing dungeons with other people. It's fun to do that as well. But not too much because I get bored very quickly, like you. And I don't want that because I really, really enjoy the game. I really enjoy the story, exploration. Yeah, Guild Wars 2 was an amazing game as well. I played, I think, after WoW. If I'm not wrong, after a while, I think Guild Wars 2 was the was my main MMORPG for almost two years or something like that. I don't know exactly why I stopped from Guild Wars 2. Maybe because I switched to another one. <laughs> Uh, I think we'll be this is by the way all the stories and the quests and this one is fully voice acted which is wow 
Yeah, you know, exactly. Because when you see a paragraph like that, half of the screen, and you are almost sure it's nothing important, you just click next. You know what I mean? But if the voice acted is acting is great, and uh, you, you feel the, you start to feel the story, it's much more better. Exactly. You know, the farmer star starting to tell you how uh, a, a, a pack of boars coming to my farm and destroying my cabbage, and now I don't know what to do exactly. I tried to put some traps, but the boars avoided the traps, and now I'm thinking what to do. You don't want to kill that... Uh, 10 boards for me and I will give you as a reward a nice piece of pants. Okay. Thanks for that. I will do that for you. You know what I want to say, yeah? What mean? Something, something like that. Where is that book? Now I'm running because uh, I stopped from my playthrough and uh, I'm d today just released a new expansion, by the way, Elder Scroll. And I, I do a quest in that expansion to unlock a new activity in game, scribing. Basically, you can create your own spell from scratch. You need to unlock affixes, suffixes, etc. Grimoire, and you can create your own spells. Very, very. It will be a game changer. This, this activity. And now I'm doing the quest to unlock all these things. Honestly, it's not that common. You know that things. Follow the zone. Man, this this zone is huge. I'm very excited, for example, when I will come in this zone to do the story, to explore everything. It's... Like I said, I like to play like a single player game, but from time to time it's very nice to do dungeons, to do raids with other people. It's great. I started to feel again that 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 feeling, you know? And I told you, I didn't touch the game for 10 years. Where is that fucking book? I, I, I fixed my goals. For, uh, for me as well. For example, I want to unlock all the companions. I unlocked only three companions. I still have to unlock three or four more companions, something like that. I don't know exactly how many are in the game. Let's ride. To unlock the companions, do the main quest for every zone. I fix some goals that I want to do. That should come in handy. Uh, I can jump here. Uh, I 
Oui Oh, wrong way. Uh, follow the main road, okay. You know, for me, for me, it's all this walking simulator now because uh, I'm on the end, end game area, the expansion that just released today. And I didn't explore the previous areas before. You know what I mean? So basically I'm under level now. And for people who already have this area done, they just teleport here and go directly to the quest location. It will be very easy for them. But for me, I need to do all the walking to discover the area. That's why I'm doing that. I did hear about that Guild Wars 3 in the making. I didn't hear anything. Man, honestly, I'm excited only for one game. One online game. Ashes of Creation. We will see. This summer will be the Alpha 2. I will play because I'm a baker on Ashes of Creation. I have... Poop. I have poop. I played the Alpha One. What's great? Uh, now have uh, almost uh, have four years, something like that. Four years. And uh, from what I know, I'm a big baker. Uh, from what I know unofficial I think in maximum uh, two years will be will be the full release this year this summer will be the alpha 2 uh, next year we'll start with beta and uh, in two years something like that I think in 2026 maybe maximum uh, the first half of 2027 will be the full release for uh, Ashes of Creation. Man, it, we, you know what's the problem? I know Warlock and I, I know a lot of people say the same thing. I know it's a lot of hate and a lot of... I know exactly what you want to say. It's another scam, another fail, another... Like most of us. Trust me, it's the only game that I'm 100%, not because I'm a baker, I'm not... <laughs> Fuck them, <laughs> you know? I bought a lot of games that was fails. <laughs> I I have enough. I have a full uh, Steam library with shit games. But I really, really, really think this will be a success. Ashes of Creation. I really think that. And uh, wh why the developing is, yeah, why the developing is long, but it's not that long if you think a little bit. For a uh, MMORPG six, seven years, it's not that much. For, wait a second, for a uh, MMORPG at this scale, because the game will be huge, will be, even from the release, will be I think the map will be bigger than what ESO have now. And a lot of systems, a lot of the complexity will be insanely huge with that node system, the towns evolving with the dungeons that will be will be will be great if they if they uh, made to to implement what they want will be amazing. Now you know, it's not 100 percent sure, but but we just can hope because, like you said, yeah, in the last period of time, uh, honestly, the I think the MMORPGs 
was struggle a little bit. It's not only because we are we get older and we don't enjoy that much, but even the the last year's releases was pretty damn bad. Wait a second. Listen, listen. Which are the top MMORPGs today in 2024 on the market? World of Warcraft was released, I don't know, 15, 20 years ago. ESO, Elder Scroll, was released 11 years ago. Uh, Guild Wars 2, Guild Wars 2 was released more than 10 years ago, okay? Uh, Lord of the Rings Online was released 15 years ago. What are we talking about? We are talking only the, about games that was released more than 10 years ago. That's correct? Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy 14 as well. A game that was released a lot of years ago. So, what the fuck, man? Wow, the problem with WoW, I tried uh, last year and or uh, when was the release for uh, Classic WoW? I played and I enjoy. I think I played for two months or three months as well. Classic was, was different, was much more better, but they broke the game. The World of Warcraft, I think, I feel was broke with every expansion. That's why I stopped when the Cataclysm was released. Like I said, I played until uh, Wrath of the Lich King. I played, I think, every single day. Every single fucking day. But I feel the Cataclysm broke the game. For me, one. Finally, man. There will be a lot of people here as well, for sure. Here you are. Uh, uh, where is the fucking ward? You see, the quests are different. You have something else to do in this in this game that's why I like man where is that fucking world oh shit I need to remember to get that sh no, 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 don't jump, don't jump down. I need to get that shard. Uh, but... Where is the ward? 
Oh no, the mob spawn. Uh... Fuck. Hello, Thanos. Fuck that. Man, where the hell is that was? Guys? Where the fuck is the ward? Oh crap, man! Man, we'll be down here! Oh my god, I need to go around to go up here. Oh fuck, man. What? Fuck! Uh, okay. What the hell way I go up? Again. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh come on Holy shit Man, this is a fucking maze! Where the hell is the ward? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, what's here? Oh my god. Okay, Rui, really, see you later, bro. Take your time, my friend. in front of me yeah. 
It's a pain in the ass to unlock this scribing profession, looks like. It's a lot of work. And you're still playing now uh, Guild Wars 2, Warlock? Oh, that's great. It's, it's right here. I have a shrine. People are still playing the game? Oh, that's in town. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, I see you. I see you. I did get back in there for a while, yeah. You spend six months in Asia. You, you can play a lot in six months. <laughs> of course, man. No, none of us have that time that we spent years ago anymore. I remember when I played WoW, I didn't get kids, wife. Now it's... It's a completely different story. It's a completely different story now. Than 15 years ago. Time is another reason why uh, we don't enjoy the MMORPG like before. It's another reason. Exactly, that's 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 the reason why in the last years I enjoyed more uh, RPG, single players RPG. the hell is the third one? Oh, the third one is in dungeon. Okay. Single player, yeah, or cope, exactly. That's why I told you I'm playing uh, Elder Scrolls like a single player. And of course you can play this with more than one friend. Why not? I'm playing Elder Scroll online like like a single player. Like Skyrim. I'm playing like Skyrim. And we hope my friend Tan Todd Howard will release Elder Scrolls 6 until we die.
the same thing can say it's in um it's in ESO as well because now even from level one you can uh, you can do dungeons with level 50 with level 50 and the difficulty will be the same for both of you doesn't matter if you are level one and I'm level 50 I can yeah, I cannot uh, carry you, you know what I mean. The difficulty will be the same for both of us. This guy will clear the path in front of me. Wow, that's a fucking big cave. A very cool area. Okay, I see one ward, but the problem is, I don't know. I don't know if this is the ward that I need to. To dispel from that circle. I need to get a shard as well. Uh, hey. Can I jump down? Uh, no, because it's a lava. Uh, man. I still need to go down. Okay, I'm good. Where is Bastian? Where is my stupid fucking companion? Oh, thanks God. Jeremy Soul made music for ESO, yes. Yes. I want to get that fucking shard. Yes, man, you have, you have a lot, a lot of, a lot of 
options here, a lot of controls for gameplays, for interface, for nameplays, for combat, for everything. If you dig here, and also you can install some kind of add-ons that uh, you can with quality of life things that tweak the games even more. I jumped here, but now I know the way to go back up. What the fuck? Look at this guy, man. He's a ghost. You know, it's another completion here, another... This area need to have a boss as well. This is the boss. This dungeon. No. It's not this the boss. May give this a go again at some point then. Wow, that's that's amazing place, place man. I, I really want to visit one of that uh, Asian South countries like Thailand, Malaysia, Indonesia. But uh, it's so far and to go with my family, wife, kids, it's so expensive. Will not be, a, I know it's very cheap in the area, food, uh, hotels, etc. I know it's very cheap. The problem is the planes is very, very expensive for me. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, like I say, the problem is I'm not alone. If I want to go alone, it will be okay, but I cannot go alone in holiday in Thailand. You know, need to come with, when you have a family, you are... Uh... Uh, I'm in London, I'm in UK. Wait a second, 450 alone one way yeah so 900 1000 basically 1000 two ways for one person and for me if we are four yeah wife and two kids would be 4000 4000 only only just the plane minimum minimum but uh, i think from from london it's uh, it's more than 450 I think from London is more than uh, 450, honestly. Oh, here is, oh my gosh, man. Rip the dream, yeah, it's... These uh, air companies are uh, fucking scammers. Are you fucking kidding me? Bastian, K 
kill him. One day, yeah. One day, of course. I, I, I swear to myself, I don't want to die until I will not visit one of that countries. Like I say, Thailand, Indonesia, or Malaysia. One, one of, one of these. I don't want to die until I don't go there in one holiday. It's one of my goals, if you know what I mean. It's one of my goals. We, we really... I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure about that. We have one... Uh, very close family, friends, another family, and uh, the wife of that guy, the sister of his wife, she, she got married with one guy from uh, Thailand, with one guy from Thailand, and they live in London as well. And uh, at different occasions, parties, etc., etc., we, we meet with them very frequently, you know, and uh, I speak a lot with that guy from uh, from Thailand. It's, he's he's a he's a chef. You see, he's a chef in uh, in London, you know, cooking. And I speak a lot of times with him, and it's it's a it's a great person. It's amazing that guy. It's exactly what I think. <laughs> you know, I, I, I like him. Uh, I, I, I like him a lot. Because even when we're talking about uh, food, you know, he I eats everything. This far out. He eats something to help. Eat everything, anything. <laughs> you know? I'm from Romania myself. And uh, we we like to eat a lot of meat, yeah. I don't care. I'm I'm eating pork, uh, cow, uh, um, lamb, any kind of meat. <laughs> I'm not, you know, like I'm not a religious religious person, so I don't care. I'm eating anything, and uh, he's the same. Uh, first time I asked him when I meet with him, and you are a chef, but. You are a vegan? I don't know why what on my mind most of the people from that area are vegan. But no. He said no, I don't care, I'm eating everything. So he eat like me, any kind of meat, any kind of food, he don't care. Oops, 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 Man, what the fuck is that sign? I didn't saw until now this thing. Me too, man. I, I cannot stay, honestly, I cannot stay one day if I don't... ...eat even a little bit of meat. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't feel well. I'm skinny. I'm very skinny. But I still eat a lot of meat. I think I cannot survive if I don't <laughs> if I don't eat meat.
What are they doing here, guys? That's Argonian eggs? Uh, wait. I love cities. Oh, the rude people, the noise, oh, the chaos. Is, is it strange that I find it comfortable? I don't want to enter in the portal. Wait a second. It's good to know it's a portal to Scolarium there. And back to Scholarium? No. Oh. And now I will meet with that god. Finally, after all this puzzle. Sealed. You have worked hard to find me. I know why, of course. I always know. Very hard. I traveled Could half of the world. Wolf Sealed is gone. Yes. Yes. Wolf Sealed is gone. She said that might happen. I hoped she was mistaken. <laughs> she often was. Well, no Ulf Sealed, no problem, not Ulf Sealed. You have a naturally buoyant spirit, I can tell. This will be an effervescent experience. Let us begin. All right. Where do we start? I, I know you let's give me three challenges. Let's my domain and let some of my beauty, my majesty, into the scolarium. Place the fable on the dais. Yes, the original fable. Not the new and enhanced version I wrote. You don't give me challenge? Are you kidding me? Or you give me the challenge after I place the fable? supposed to test you but tests are way I was sure of course for floating I prefer games easier to win and oh. just as easy to prove how clever you are oh listen to me droning on like the dragon anyway I have some games for us to play lightning what kind of games the kind of games that make people feel lighter games that show how buoyant life can be there are many who need the help of my benevolent and loving tendrils. What kind of hell do you have in mind? Oh, anything to take the weight off the shoulders. Health, or happiness, or even money. Wolfsil tried to explain money to me. It sounded depressing, but apparently people quite like it. 
I have a list of helpful games for you to play. Where can I find a list? You must traverse the land in search of seven orbs. Are you fucking kidding me? When the warrior is high in the night sky, can you wish? <laughs> I kid, they're right here. Only complete those that make you feel the most buoyant. I'll handle the rest. Let us see what you make of my little games. The best games are ones that others don't know they're playing. Makes for much more bubbly responses when they discover the joyful Yeah, the, the crowd the told me she it's a trickster. This, this thing, it's a trickster. The Tinker game, a game of horror, a honor, a game of gods, of goods, a game of ash, the Fisher's game, the mirror game. I need to do how many? I need to do two, two or I need to do three from the list. I suppose are on the same area. What is here? Wow, man. Uh, Gather mementos from Daedra and Imperial City. I don't know which one to do. I need to do three from the list. Anyway, let's leave this area. Uh, I see one challenge is on the new area. I think I'm going on that new area. Thanks for all you're doing to help restore the Scalarium. If there's anything I can do to help, just let me know. I do that Westfield one personally. I know plenty of people who left Valenwood with King Nantharian that I'd like to keep safe. Yeah, that's what I will do. I saw this one challenge in the new area that just was just released. Uh, I will do that. I know that. Watch your back in Vasya Didenot if you head that way. Mm. Any of them choose a different, uh, recommend you to do a different challenge. Everyone keeps talking. Oh, the Imperial City. Yeah. The niche acts in good if you decide to head into either. No, I will do the. Where, where the fuck is the portal? Uh. I'll go into a new area. Because it's a lot of people. Wait. I didn't unlock. Ah, I have. Look what is here, man. I didn't explore anything here. This area, from what I saw on the trailers, looks like the Tussaud from the Witcher expansion. Witcher 3. Look. With the vineyards. 
just abandoned them to die. I don't want to take any quests in this area. I don't want to do any quests. I just want to unlock completely the scribing. to find uh, the portals Need to be a minimum two, three portals no, here. No, no. We must get this right before our performance. Welcome back, man. Welcome back. I need to do three from that list of challenge and one of them are in this area that's the new area that just released today so I'm searching from that for that uh, Dryadra portals On the same time, I explore the new area, you know, which is cool. Oh, I got a teleporting shrine here. Stamina for my horse! There is a dungeon. Another quest here. It's a cool area, honestly. Oh, here you are. Here you are, I found it. I found it! I hope... Don't wait too long. Come on guys, see here. Shh, come back. I will see when uh, up here. What? What the fuck are these things? They made their choices, so be it. 
I see more people coming here. Come on, game. Give us the event. Give us the event. Man, this guy looks like a ninja. Huh? He need a katana. Not that big. And this guy looks like he's from the Lord of the Rings. Nice gear. It's too long. Let, let's discover one more question mark. Okay, it's a delve. Why appear again question mark if I'm going back? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, the others. Oh, that's nothing, man. That's nothing what I showed you. It's... You have... Collection, yeah? And here you have... Uh, I don't know, appearance for everything, uh, uh, houses, a, a lot of houses, look, oh, these are only houses in game that you, you can have, outfits, look at that. And set items, that's the most thing. When you do one dungeon, and when you bind one items to you, when you equip or scavenge that items, let's say you find a cool armor, you equip that armor, then that armor will appear here on your on your collection. And anytime with anytime if you want, you can craft, you need some special resources, and you can craft that item that you found in the dungeon. So you can farm, for example, this dungeon, yeah, this Arcorinium. You can farm the dungeon until you get all the items that will be in the dungeon. And then anytime you can craft that item. If you want. If you want that set, let's see, if you want that set, right, which have five items, You can you can craft that uh, set. It's trust me. It you cannot believe how many things can can be in this. Look at this guy. Fucking kidding me, man. <laughs> he have a, a fucking chair. Can I stay? Yeah. 
this guy is level 1831 This guy is level 1,354. Yeah, because after level 50, basically you just start the game after level 50. You unlock a new skill tree, like, like the Paragon. On a, You still get points and you spend on that skill tree. Until level uh, 160 and two, or 210 or something like that. Yeah, basically the game starting after level 50. Until level 50, it's, it's a tutorial. <laughs> this guy is level 992. This one is 1570. <laughs> and me and myself I'm level 42 Yeah, I told you man, if you want to try give 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 him a chance. Take it slowly, take it very slowly, start a brand new character and take it very, very, very slowly. Ignore the side quest, do only the zone, story quest and the main quest. Just 1,500. <laughs> Oh, we have a scribe in this area, amazing. And have a lot of activities that you have in the game. A lot, a lot, a lot of cool things, trust me. That's a problem. I have only one more. I miss one. Magical clairvoyance. It seems more guesswork than wizardry to me. So here you see on these locations I will find a treasure. I just discovered the location where I will find some kind of, and here will be another mini game when you will find the treasure. That's the antiquity. That was at least in I don't know which DLC expansion. Like scribing now. It's, we have different activities in all the expansions and the game have, I think, 12 or 13 expansions or something like that. Every year, basically, they release a new expansion. 
There are a lot of things. Man, I don't know how long to wait here. I, I don't think there is... Fuck that. Okay. Maybe... Oh, that's, that's good. That's good. What's that? House. I think that it's a bell. I have to slay Diadra in all, only in Vardenfell. Okay. Okay, I'll go to to find his treasure. Then I will, I will, uh, I will leave the area to complete that. Uh... Man, it's pretty big, this area. Another fast travel. That's great. This way. This way. Here you go. But, but here will be a hint to the other one. Yeah. Hey! I'm just watching. Fight each other.
What the fuck? I'm still in combat. Hey, wake up! Come on, game. You can't do that. Are you fucking kidding me? I cannot go on the other side. Okay, that's a fucking boss. No, I'm okay. What is the fucking treasure, man? Here you go. And you see now, we have another mini fucking game. Are you kidding me, sir? Yes, here you are. Boom! Uh, we still have have a little bit of time. There is something here. You can find something extra. You unlock. You level up. Even this activity, you need to have unlock more things a lot of tools that you can co discover more here it's it's complex like i said a lot a lot of things in this game now unlucky Oh, I found something extra. <laughs> A new lead. Nice. Reginus Buka. Yeah, I, I like, uh, you have a lot of mini games, you have some kind of card games as well, which I didn't try yet, uh, a lot, a lot, a lot of things, trust me. Oh, 
Oh, fuck. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Is the battle at the portal? I don't have time. I don't have time. I don't have time. It's done. Fuck. Ah, oh, it's gone. It's gone. Fuck. Oh. Okay, man. I I need to choose another one. But. I think we we'll do that. Our friendship pleases. Oh, I have a creek. He believes that That's another one. It's like a delicious meal. It makes him smile, and Bakuki can feel the warmth inside. Experience scroll. That's very good. That's some kind of meat, a food, a bath. Another experience scroll. Magnificent. A companion shield. Farewell, 